Hello and welcome to the assembly video for the uh, lightsaber. So um, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to assemble this and also some tips and tricks when it comes to uh, printing and cleaning etc. So uh, before we start, these few of these parts are printed in PETG and some of them in PLA. These are printed in PLA, uh, a little bit more of a tough PLA than the regular ones. Uh, this will take the force for the twisting motion, so that's why I go, uh, have gone for, for that. And um, these ones are printed in PETG. I had a few issues with my PETG, not sure if that shows up on the video here, but this surface is not nice it looks like it has been a little bit too much moisture in the pet tea, so i need to dry that for before i do a next print it was totally new filament new directly from the bag, bag. so um, yeah i will need to dry that before i do anything and this is pla silk this is going to be the housing of the saber and these are the actual lightsaber so to say then we have a gearbox a three to one ratio gearbox and then um, something that I call it skin so this would be something that you can customize yourself you can do whatever you want just make sure to uh, it fits over the housing so this would be put onto the bottom as the grip and this is the top etc and a few bits and pieces that I would just glue on for aesthetics so it looks a little bit nicer so that's the skin um, that can be customizable for this uh, assembly it would be nice for you if you have uh, some kind of lubrication especially for these parts so I will put a thin layer of oil on this and inside the gearbox I will just put a little bit of grease make sure that runs smoothly there will be one part that is going to be glued and this and that is this part and that should be glued at the bottom of the housing uh, but before we do that we are going to add some reinforcements so this is gonna fit within this one there is one round hole and then the rest of them are squared so that should fit perfectly like this so uh, that is going to be glued in place it doesn't need to be much glue just so it doesn't pull off it will not twist because of those tabs there so that's that's the idea there and for this we also need a few screws so let me just grab a few of those it's gonna be three pieces of M3 10 millimeter screws these ones and it's gonna be one 20 millimeters or 15 millimeters so I'm gonna go for 20 and those are only to reinforce the plastic parts there are a few places where the forces within the gearbox for example um, where we have these that's where we put in these screws that is only to reinforce the print so this doesn't break off during my prototyping these were a troubling area so I reinforced that with these even though printed in 100% it sometimes breaks off and the same for this this is the center screw that's the main screw that will pull everything apart and it also broke off here I tried to make it like a solid part that doesn't help or anything so uh, once again that's where the longer screw is going to fit in so I'm just gonna screw that into the... all right so let's start with the gearbox uh, that's gonna be the base of this
hopefully. This will now turn. And it does, perfect. So that means we have successfully glued this in place and it doesn't come off. So I can't pull this off. So that's perfect. That's exactly how we wanted this to be. So there we go. So the thing here is that these ones can be put in backwards. Um, and just make sure when you put them in to have the same length for the laser or the screw to be facing outwards and at the same position have this um, tab here or the recess or guide at the same position on all of these. So this one will now have this at this position and there is no extra knob up here so I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna take the next one I'm gonna do the same for this this is a little bit shorter this one uh, because this is the top part this is going to be the last one of all of them so this might actually not be correct because this as we can see is a little bit shorter but so the thing here is that they need to be the exact same length and then after that you should have the same position of the tabs and this one doesn't have one on the outside it's actually on the inside so it's at this um, position there so that looks actually like that is perfect so i'm gonna go for that then we take the next one put that in and see if that fits so there we go and the length of this we can see when i screw this in and i get the same length that is not correct so what i need to do is unscrew this take the next insert position screw that in again and still not the maybe it is that is actually no it's not it should be like this so that is still that's too short so it should be the last the last one there we go so this should be now correct and there we go those are now the same length and for the last one we'll do the same as well so i'm just gonna screw this in making sure it aligns correctly and this is a little bit longer than the other ones so this actually might be correct it's about five millimeters longer than the rest so with, when we have that position, we have all of them the same length. It's now time to put this together. So we'll take this and then we'll take the next one. And as we can see, the, the tab on that should align with this. So I'm just going to put that in and without rotating this one. So that's the important part. Do not rotate. So that now went in. So as we can see, it doesn't go in further than this, so it stops there. Do not push it all the way in. So we're gonna wait here for, for the next part. So we can see that this length is probably, uh, maybe not, we'll see. Then we'll take the next one. Same there. Rotate this until it aligns. And what I'm trying to do is make sure these tabs within here is aligned correctly and that should be possible to just rotate it into place that rotate back again maybe I need to design some kind of tool to assemble this there we go that fits perfect it looks correct uh, they should be pushed in together later. So the last one, make sure that this is correctly rotated, like so. Oh yeah, of course, I need to get that first in place, there we go. There we go, that's perfect. So now when we have these in place, we should be able to just click this 
in position. That's one. And then next one, click. And the last one should just click in place. There we go. That worked out perfect. And all of them are now uh, embedded and all the way in. So it should be now possible to rotate this stones. So you need to pull this back at the same time as you rotate it. And there we go, that's working quite nicely. So now it's only mounting this into the laser housing. So what you can do is actually mount this in and then take out the bottom or the center uh, cog here and then rotate this to the correct position, push this in as far as possible and then remount this. That, that's going to be the quickest way to do this. So let's just find the position where this should be. And that should now push out the center part. And what we need to do now is make sure to rotate this so we can just push this in all the way. There we go. So that's the, uh, the closed position of the saber. So what we need to do now is rotate this counterclockwise that's going to be in the closed position find the correct alignment and that should pop in perfect uh, the uh, uh, the ring here should be all the way counterclockwise and when you rotate it clockwise it's going to open so well, i'll need to work this a few times this is still very tight so um, during use it's going to get looser and looser and easier and easier to rotate. So that works really good. So perfect. We just need to work that in. Maybe add some oil to it and see if that smooths everything up. And now it's time to put the lid back on to this. There we go. So now we have the saber. That works perfect. So, and now it's time to um, assemble the skin for this. We we'll start with that uh, lid part. So I'm just gonna put some glue on this. Just a tiny bit of glue. some activator where is my activator there it is i'll just put that onto the top of this there we go and just put this on and that's perfect so that's gonna be my center oh that's convenient i got a good center line there to align everything with New glue. And try again. That's better. Perfect. the top let's move over to the center pieces I'm gonna add this handle first actually and I have these golden rings I'm gonna add those first to, to the Good. Let's do the same for the bottom part. And here's the uh, final design. That's the uh, saber all put together. And uh, I'm really happy how 
this come out and uh, let's see it open so let's just grab the bottom and twist it uh, counterclockwise and that should extend your saber to its full length and then to pull it back just twist the other way so it's actually one full revolution on this at the bottom that needs to be done so make, make sure you grab it the correct way so you can pull it in one go perfect and it's actually going to spin quite easily so you can put push force on this and it can put it back in so that is also one way of pulling it back in yeah there you go my retractable lightsaber